Hello everyone and welcome to Galaxy 89 Cars. So for those of you who watch my content regularly, you'll know that I've worked quite a bit with Renaissance Classic cars in the last few weeks. I've had the absolute pleasure to drive their Mustang 390 GT Fastback and of course their Porsche track car. So as the weather has been absolutely gorgeous lately, I decided to come back and see what else they've got in stock. In the UK, tea drinking is a fundamental part of any organisation home. So this is the backbone of our country. We're a bit weird in the UK in the fact that we drink our tea with milk. So therefore we get through quite a substantial amount of milk. So as you can imagine, this being a new business, being so busy and being full of mechanics, they get through quite a lot of tea, which unfortunately means they get through quite a lot of milk. Now, what that means is, because I'm just a visitor and I've come here, they've asked me to go and get it. So to sort of compensate me for my time, they've said, you know, why don't you take one of our cars? So I'm going to take the next five minutes to have a look through their stock and try and find something suitable to go and get some milk. Outside, they've got seven Porsches split by a Ferrari, 996 to 991 911s, and limited run Caymans and Boxsters, but I fancy something a little more exotic. Inside, there's quite a diverse mix of mainly classic cars. First, a 308 race car that's not road legal, so I won't be taking that. To its right, a 40-year-old 911e. Iconic, but I really want something without a roof. The next two fit that criteria. A Maserati 450S replica and a 1964 Mustang Cabriolet. But maybe something a little more modern would be better. Next to the big yellow Corvette is the GT390 I had the pleasure of driving a few weeks ago. I love this car, but it's not really what I'm looking for today. So after having a look in the showroom, there are some good choices, but what I really want is out here. Now, the cars behind me don't really suggest as much, apart from my little bath, but it's definitely not that. So I'm going to casually walk over to the car that I've spotted. At the moment, you might just be able to see it. It's not the Boxster over here. It's none of these, these are staff cars. It's actually this. Now they were nice enough to say that I could take this 430 Spider out for a drive. This is not only going to be an interesting trip to get milk, it's also going to be my first ever drive in a Ferrari. It's powered by a 4.3 litre naturally aspirated V8 that produces 483 brake horsepower and gets to 62 or 100 kilometers per hour in 3.9 seconds although I don't think I'll be doing that today. So I'm in the 430 now, and before I started up and set off, I just thought I'd show you my insight. I thought I'd show you what I can see. So there's the wheel, the engine start button, and the Manatino switch. I'm going to keep it to a nice comfortable mode. I think sport's going to be a bit crazy right now. Um, paddle shift, it's got the F1 style gearbox. Pretty standard setup. Other than the wheel, the car actually has a really nice specification. We've got the carbon fibre over here, um, carbon fibre here with the F430 on top, and some more over the side as well. So in terms of the interior, it's sort of like a Vino Tinto uh, kind of colour, and uh, fully uh, electrically adjustable seats. And really, if you're in a 430 Spider, if you're in any kind of Spider, and the weather is this good, you've got to have the top down. So I just went out with the director of Renaissance Classics and I'll show you a little bit of footage I took from that, which is why my hair's looking even more manic than it did before. First thing I'm going to do, this is why I'm in a different position, first thing I'm going to do is adjust my seat slightly. I like to be a bit of a granny, as close to the steering wheel as possible. Right, so I'm going to grab my big camera. I'm actually going to show something else very, very quickly. There's a beautiful, iconic, proper Ferrari key with this. So to start it up, we go behind the wheel and put it on, so all the ignition's on and everything, and then we press this magical button here. Okie dokie. I've got two bollards in front of me and I want to make sure that I can actually get through okay. To begin with, I'm going to start off just in auto mode, just as a relaxed mode. This is the first time I've driven a Ferrari. How does it feel, this first few metres I've driven? So I've got the Manatino in the sort of uh, second one up. Uh, so not the icy road setting, the one just above that, but below Sport. Just put it into auto mode, just because I want as sort of relaxed feeling as possible with it. Indicator feel is okay. 
uh, putting my foot down on the throttle, the car feels quite responsive but also quite relaxed at the same time. It doesn't feel like tremendously difficult to drive in any way. Indicator is quite easy to find. Um, wind noise isn't abhorrent as of yet. Quite a nice engine sound. I don't know if this exhaust is valve controlled. It still sounds pretty nice though. At the moment, sort of just pootling around, sort of doing speed limit, just cruising around, it feels really comfortable to drive. The car is quite wide, which I'm sort of mindful of, which is why I'm sort of sticking to uh, quite uh, wide roads. There's another way I could have gone just down there. So as we're sort of pootling along in this uh, Ferrari 430 Spider, let me tell you a bit more about Renaissance classic sports cars. The business was only started trading at the 1st of February 2017, so it's still a very new company. Sorry if I'm pausing a lot here, I'm just first time in a Ferrari, I'm excited, but I'm trying to calm myself down and relax at the same time, it's sort of nerve-wracking. Anyway, so the company is really, really new. The owners are a father and son team that were previously in the health and leisure industry. They own an ex exceptionally uh, successful and like world-renowned tennis academy. But they decided to uh, like give that in and um, set up a business that's all about their passion for classic and sports cars. You know, as you can kind of tell through the name. So they started the company up sort of end of 2016, but only really got trading around the 1st of February 2017. So there's only been two, three months. Uh, it's still an exceptionally young co uh, company. They sort of specialize in two different aspects of cars, two different types of cars. The first type is the turnover car. So that's sort of the Porsche Boxster, Porsche Cayman, but not just any Caymans or, or, or Boxsters. They're sort of really niche cars. So we're talking about like a Boxster RS60 Spider, uh, Cayman Black Edition. So limited edition, rare versions of already very, very good sports cars. And then you've got more things like this as well. So the 430 Spider, there's a 360 Modena there too. They've got the classics as well, of course. They've got uh, the, the Mustang, they've got the Jaguar X, XK150. Um, a very, very rare Porsche flat nose. So they've got the, the turnover types and then they've got the other things as well that are more sort of um, showroom focused that they may not expect to sell just like that, but are happy to sort of hold on to for a bit longer. Fantastic company, really, really great guys. Of course, the company's founded with the family run tradition being a father and son team. So if you're going to have one of your cars there for one of their services, then you're really going to feel like you're taken care of. So what do they offer? They offer servicing for all types of cars, modern cars, classic cars, supercars like this, or sports cars. Maintenance services for the same, restoration services for the same type of cars. Um, and they offer uh, detailing services as well. They've got a lot of different types of detailing services that are available. Um, that, and they can be tailored to your needs too. So it's well worth giving them a call. But what else can I feel about this car? Well, I've been poodling around in auto, haven't been doing much changing. I'm going to come back round on myself now to eventually get this milk. Brakes feel okay. You have to put a bit of pressure on them from what I just felt there. Uh, obviously being a Ferrari 430, there's quite a lot of traction. I'm quite enjoying auto, bit of a tunnel. That sounded very good. Sort of can't believe I'm driving a Ferrari right now, not want to. For some reason, the uh, indicator just clicked off there. Right, we're coming off this next one. Another little tunnel bit. Let's see what this sounds like. Very, very nice. Holding a little bit of speed into this corner. The car just grips the corner so well. Let's try a little bit of manual mode. This is a car a few years old now. It's got, I don't know, 20,000 miles or so on it. The changes are still pretty quick. And I'm not going to mess around too much, so I'm going to make sure it goes back into auto mode. It's on a nice, relaxed drive. The steering feel feels light and direct. Like I just showed you, the gear changes are quite fast and very easy. I'll tell you what, when I drove the Mustang, I got more looks in that than I'm getting in this. I sort of wish I could show you in a more proactive manner. But I'm driving through a village right now. Men, women, children, everyone. And uh, yeah, far more people were sort of looking in with sort of open mouths and surprised when I was driving the Mustang. People are looking, aren't really that seem to be that bothered right now with this. It's peculiar. Let's 
does sound very, very good, doesn't it? Sounds lovely. Let's, let's see what, put it down into second, shall we? Oh, wow. I'm very, very tempted, but of course, this isn't my car. They've been very generous in letting me drive this. I think one little foot down moment is quite good, but you know, you don't want to push your luck. Put it back into auto, I think. Ooh, nice and slow over the bumps. Okie dokie, so pull both paddles to bring it into neutral. Uh, handbrake up and turn it off. I don't know how I feel about leaving the top open really, but hopefully it'll be okay. I've not left anything in, any valuables in there or anything, so. Right then. In life, there are some weird things that happen and you don't ever expect to go down to uh, the little waitrose that you see here. To uh, pick up a meal after driving a 430 Spider. I've got such a short drive back to Renaissance Classics I'm not actually going to bother putting my uh, GoPro back on. So I will sign off here and uh, speak to you again when I've finished. But one more thing. That was the sales manager racing up the road in the 430. It seems that everyone is getting a little go. I'm not surprised, perfect weather, amazing car. So first drive in a Ferrari, what can I surmise from it? Well, it was a lot easier than I thought. Maybe I'd built it up in my mind just because the word Ferrari was there. I thought it was going to be like temperamental and hard to handle and like, really jolty and it, like, extremely fast, but it was actually very placid. It was very, very drivable, very easy to drive sort of in a, in a sort of daily capacity, although I'm sure the MPG is not very good in that way. But maneuverability is very good, um, very good at slow speeds. So yeah, totally, totally fine. Thanks again to Renaissance Classics for letting me have this opportunity. Through them I've been able to drive a Porsche track car, a Mustang GT3 90 Fastback, and now a Ferrari 430 Spider. I'll leave a link to their website and their Facebook page in the description, so please go click on it, check them out, see what they've got to offer. They're a great team. Make sure you subscribe to Galaxy 89 Cars for the latest content, and until next time, cheers.